Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax, the channel that helps you figure out what you need to build your dream garage. And today we're discussing my six month review on my new age bold 3.0 series cabinets. So let's jump right into it. So it's been six months since I bought these cabinets and I absolutely love them. I do think they're one of the best deals out there for cabinets. I picked these ones up at Costco where they sell a lot of these cabinets. The set you're looking at right now cost me about $1,250. And what it includes is two tall cabinets, three wall hanging cabinets, one two door cabinet for the floor, and then one four draw cabinet that's on costas. I personally didn't put them on costas because I left them on my concrete shelf here. And then it comes with this bamboo countertop. It also comes with three LED lights that I didn't install because I just don't need them. I got enough light. So let's go over the specs of this cabinet. Firstly, it's 24 gauge steel. All the seams are welded. It has adjustable height feet when you want to use them. That option didn't work for me because I have a concrete ledge around my garage which was great because then I didn't have to put the feet on there, creating unnecessary height. The other thing it does have is a lockable doors on every cabinet and drawer, which is always a plus if you're trying to keep people out of your tools. It has a maximum height of 77.25 inches and a depth of 18 inches. So you might be wondering what colors do these come in? Well, firstly, the color behind me is the most popular option. It is the charcoal gray doors with the black frame. You do get the black frame with deep red doors. Every now and then you can find cabinets with the white frame and platinum doors. And every now and then you can get black on black. Looks really slick, but I think I got the best color combo right here. One thing I ran into when I was looking for cabinets were different mounting options. You see, I have this weird concrete lip around my garage which prevented me from actually putting cabinets down on the ground directly because the concrete ledge is only 14 inches where these are 18 and I didn't want that lip to cause some tippage. So there are three options for new age cabinets. Firstly, you can wall mount these cabinets. They do have holes in the back of everything giving you enough holes to find 16 on center. The next option which I've already mentioned is feet. You can definitely install the feet they come with and rest directly on the garage, directly on the garage floor, which is also great because they are fully adjustable. And then the third option of installation is they are stackable. So if you do have multiple sets of the floor cabinets, you can stack them and join them together. The countertop comes in this bamboo or in a stainless steel. I personally don't like stainless steel countertops because you'll see the scratches. Obviously you see the scratches on wood, but uh, the stainless steel just from day one, it gets scratched up and I've never been a fan of that. So in the six months that I have these cabinets, what do I use them for? Well, as I mentioned before, I am building an R32 race car and not the Skyline. I'm talking about the VW R32 for you fans out there. And this cabinet sits right in front of my project car and I actually use these cabinets to store all of my parts that I'm going to be using in the future. So as you can see right here, I have my oil transmission, uh, service stuff, I probably have brake lines. It's all organized in here per project when I need to hit them. I did find these very uh, nifty storage tubs at Home Depot which, perfect, which fit perfectly in these cabinets which I'll leave a link for you down below. Another thing I do with these cabinets is I store weird and wonderful tools. I have a whole Sonic tool set with foam cutouts to keep my tools nice and organized, but there's always going to be tools you don't actually have a foam cutout for or a kit doesn't come with and they just want off tools. So I do store the weird and wonderful tools in here, like uh, the muffler rubber hanger remover, uh, some weird vice clamps. Uh, you know, when will you need these? Who knows? But when you need them, they're very handy. And then, you know, all the random brake line benders, shock absorber adjusters, or coilover adjusters, and the list goes on. So that's mainly what I use this area for, as well as 
some of my, you know, brake, bleeder kits, extra fuel line, and so on. During the six months, I've really found these cabinets to be firstly the most affordable, um, not too great in size. So if you are working with a smaller garage, this is a great option. One thing I do want to mention about these cabinets is you can find them all over the place at all different prices and it's kind of overwhelming and they, they try to trick you into pricing with, you know, having four of these instead of three or four of these or three of these. I find the best bang for your buck is honestly on Costco.com. Costco.com sometimes lists these at $1,600 and when they're sales, they're about $1,100, $1,150. Most of the year, there's a sale on these cabinets, at least they used to be, but be sure to check out my website, www.gastax.com, and I list active deals for anything you need in your garage. If I find a deal on some tools, I'll probably list it there. If I find deals on cabinets, I'll list it there. So make sure you check that website out later. So when shopping for these cabinets, first check Costco. If you're not a member, I'm sure you know someone that is. They ship directly to your house. They say curbside. My driveway is about uh, 300 feet long, 400 feet long. And those guys always bring it all the way to my garage. So that's a plus. The great thing is all of this came on one pallet and I, I believe one box, if not two boxes, but one pallet. All of these top cabinets fit in here along with one of each of these little cabinets. And to me, they have the best packaging option. If you haven't checked me install these, be sure to check out that video. I'll put a link below. Now, I find myself pretty handy and determined, and um, I have two kids that my wife has to chase around the house, so I didn't have help installing these. I actually installed them by myself, and these are all wall-mounted. So I don't think you actually need a buddy. It took me maybe two, three hours at most to install these, but overall, it's a good, quick project. So guys, what do I think after six months? Are these cabinets worth it or not? Yes, they are worth it. These are the cheapest cabinet sets I've been able to find. Packaging's great, shipping's great, uh, delivery's great if you order from Costco, assembly is easy, adjustability is great. I highly recommend these cabinets. If you have a bit more cash to spend, I recommend the New Age Bold Pro. They're 1.5 times the size of these. You get a lot more and a lot more bang for the buck, but I don't think they'll fit in most car garages. So be sure to like and subscribe this video if you want to see a video on the New Age Pro 3.0 cabinets. And if you are thinking about getting these and, have you, and you have some questions, be sure to leave them below and I'll get right to them. So thanks again for tuning in. Until next time, I'll see you guys then.